My main goal, I hope you guys think I'm fun. That's honestly, that's why I do comedy. Yeah. <laughs> that's the whole thing. Someone gave me an awe. Please never do that again. <laughs> when you said awe, I was like, ooh, maybe I'll kill myself. <laughs> maybe I'll start the special that way. <laughs> no, I want to be fun. Uh, my dream is for people to see me as a, a goofball. <laughs> I want that so But You know those people you see at a bar that are so fun and like charming that they can just go up to people and like pretend to punch them in the stomach? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? The people that are like, uh-oh. Hey! And everyone's like, into it? That's what I want to be. But I'm so stiff and uncomfortable, I can't even be on the receiving end of that. Which is clearly the easy spot, right? All you gotta do is be like, oh no! Like, I can't even do that. They're like, hey! And I'm like, it doesn't hurt. Don't make me fight you. I just, I have such a weird kind of guarded energy and like, I never know what to say to people when I meet them, so I probe way too deeply about their weekend plans, you know? <laughs> like, I honestly think people's first impression of me is that I might be wearing a wire. <laughs> Where I'm like, what'd you say you were doing this weekend? <laughs> Something illegal? Uh, I think if there's such a thing as like a goofball test, I failed it. Uh, so I got this shirt for Christmas that said, um, um, ask me about my dinosaur. And the idea is if, if, if someone asks you, there's like, a, there's like a T-Rex that's on the inside part. So you can flip up the T-Rex, you know, and if you're a normal person, you could be like, ah, whatever. And if you're a real goofball, you could get into it and be like, ah, and do the thing. I wore it out and had someone ask me for the first time. They went, hey, tell me about your T-Rex. And I just went, uh, no. <laughs> like, I actually do not feel comfortable with this. Please leave. <laughs> Because I've never done the move before. I was worried I was going to pull it up too high so they wouldn't be able to see the T-Rex. So then from their perspective, they just read my shirt. And I was like, ha-ha! Welcome to New York! <laughs> so, I'm working on being a goofball. Here's what I'm working on. I, um, I'm working on my fake laugh. Uh, which people say is disingenuous. So I know you shouldn't have it. No, you need a fake laugh. Just for life. Like, I used to not have one. People would tell me a joke and I would go, oh. And, uh... <laughs> It devastates people. Uh, sometimes they give me this weird out, though, because I do comedy. They're like, oh, that's why you don't laugh. And I don't even honestly know what they're saying when people say that. Like, they're either saying, I do comedy, and therefore I've heard jokes that are so funny that I'm not capable of laughing anymore. Like, I was at a show, just like, <laughs> and, like, flies come out or whatever. Or they're saying I'm a comedian, and therefore I'm refusing to laugh at their jokes. Like I'm some kind of union man. <laughs> and I'm like, are you telling jokes for free, you goddamn scab? <laughs> so here's what I got so far. Here's my new fake laugh. Uh, 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 whenever I hear a joke, I go, I go. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, a little breathy, but I think it's endearing. I didn't even come up with it. It was a kid in college I knew who used to laugh like that, and everyone really liked him, so I stole it. <laughs> But the weird part is we still hang out, so when we're together, we both do that. It's me like, and he's like, it sounds, it sounds insane. Like, it sounds like we're both in a gas chamber and we love it. <laughs> is that upsetting? No, not, not the gas chamber. A small G gas chamber. Like a secular gas chamber just for goofballs. You know? Fun will set you free. <laughs>